What is hydrophobic interaction chromatography? Hydrophobic interaction chromatography is an HPLC separation technique to separate and purify proteins depending on their surface hydrophobicity. The hydrophobic interaction HPLC column is packed with beads engineered for hydrophobic interaction. These beads are coated with a special hydrophobic ligand. Proteins, due to their composition, have areas of hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity. For this illustration, hydrophobic patches on the proteins are depicted in red, whereas the color black indicates the presence of hydrophilic functionalities. The surface hydrophobicity of proteins can vary from low to high, depending on the sequence and structure. When proteins are situated in an aqueous environment, in the absence of salt, a dense layer of water molecules is formed around the protein, shielding the hydrophobic patches. At the same time, a dense layer of water is formed at the surface of the stationary phases, also shielding the hydrophobic ligands. These layers of water molecules prevent the protein from interacting with the stationary phase. A hydrophobic interaction chromatography separation is typically conducted by applying a decreasing salt gradient, often referred to as an inverse salt gradient. Therefore, starting the analysis at a high salt concentration and lowering it during the HPLC run. Introduction of a high salt concentration results in the disassembly of the polar water layer around the hydrophobic ligands and the patches of the proteins. The process in which the layer is disrupted is energetically favored since the entropy of the system increases. Water molecules previously involved in the formation of the layer around the protein and the hydrophobic ligands now interact with the salt. When water molecules are excluded from the proteins and ligands, hydrophobic interactions between the protein and the ligand on the bead are formed. This process is thermodynamically favored since the formation of these interactions allows the decrease of the total energy of the system. The ability to enhance the formation of hydrophobic interactions between the protein and the ligand depends mainly on the stationary phase chemistry, type of salt, and the operating temperature. Generally, cosmotropic salts, such as ammonium sulfate and sodium sulfate, enhance formation of the hydrophobic interactions. Conversely, using chaotropic salts, such as sodium chloride, the formation of hydrophobic interactions is rather reduced. Higher temperatures tend to favor the formation of hydrophobic interactions. Once the proteins are attached to the stationary phase, it is possible to begin their separation by gradually reducing the salt concentration. For example, beginning with a 2 molar ammonium sulfate concentration and decreasing to 0 molar. Therefore, starting at a high salt concentration and lowering it during the HPLC run. The reduction of salt concentration mainly results in two consequences. One, the solubility of the protein in the mobile phase is increased. Two, hydrophobic interactions between the proteins and the ligand are destabilized. Once the hydrophobic interactions are cleaved, the ordered layers of water molecules at the hydrophobic patches of the stationary phase and the proteins are reformed. In this example, the moderate hydrophobic protein is eluded first, reflecting the lowest amount of hydrophobic interactions established with the stationary phase as compared to the strongly hydrophobic protein. Conversely, the strongly hydrophobic protein requires more free water in the eluent phase, corresponding to low salt concentration in order to be eluted and therefore its retention time is higher. Hydrophobic interaction chromatography is based on hydrophobic interactions formed between the hydrophobic ligands attached to the stationary phase and the hydrophobic patches at the surface of the proteins in presence of relatively high salt concentrations. In hydrophobic interaction chromatography, the protein is not denatured and therefore the biological activity, enzymatic reactivity, is maintained. To learn more about our HPLC columns for hydrophobic interactions, visit us at 
www.thermofisher.com slash chromatography. More information about this technique can also be found in this published article. And special thanks to VUB.